Here's one of the most inspiring stories from rags to riches of a man who never gave up. Once upon a time, in the small town of Corbin, Kentucky, there was a man named Colonel Harlan Sanders. He was a man of many talents and passions, but he was best known for his secret blend of 11 herbs and spices that he used to fry up the most delicious chicken anyone had ever tasted. The colonel's journey to fame and fortune was not an easy one. His story is one of determination, hard work, and a never-give-up attitude. He started from humble beginnings and faced many obstacles along the way, but he never let those setbacks defeat him. In 1930, the colonel opened a small gas station in Corbin and began serving meals to hungry travelers. His fried chicken quickly became famous, and soon people were coming from all over just to eat at his establishment. The colonel knew he was onto something special, and he began to perfect his secret blend of herbs and spices. He had many setbacks and failures along the way. He started out as a farm boy, but quickly realized that farming was not for him. So, he took up a variety of jobs, including working as a blacksmith, a steamboat operator, and even a fireman. But it wasn't until he was in his 40s that he found his true calling, cooking. One of his biggest challenges came in the early 1940s, when the highway bypassed his gas station and business declined. The colonel was forced to close the restaurant and was left with no income. He then decided to franchise his recipe, cooking chicken for restaurant owners and showing them how to prepare it. He would go to different states, and if the restaurant owner liked his chicken, he would give them the recipe and a sign to put outside their establishment saying, Kentucky Fried Chicken. He traveled the country in his car, sleeping in motels, and living off of his social security check. He also struggled with finding the right recipe, he experimented with different ingredients, and even tried using a pressure cooker, which didn't work out. He finally settled on his secret blend of 11 herbs and spices, which gave his chicken its unique flavor. He also established a strict code of quality control for franchisees, which included strict guidelines for cooking temperatures and times, as well as the use of only the highest quality ingredients. Despite these challenges, the colonel never gave up on his dream. He continued to work tirelessly to promote his chicken and to expand the KFC franchise. He even worked as a spokesperson for the brand, appearing in TV commercials and print ads, where he would always end with the catchphrase, finger lickin', good. In the 1950s, the colonel decided to take his chicken on the road. He bought a used Chevrolet and began traveling the country, cooking his chicken in the back of the car and serving it to anyone who was hungry. He would often stop at small, family-owned restaurants and offer to cook his chicken for them. If they liked it, he would give them the recipe and help them set up their own, Kentucky Fried Chicken, restaurant. This is how he started franchising the brand. As the years went by, the colonel's fame and fortune continued to grow. He became a beloved figure, known for his white suit, black string tie, and signature goatee. He even appeared in his own TV commercials, where he would always end with the catchphrase, finger licking, good. The Colonel's hard work and dedication paid off and KFC is now one of the most popular fast food chains in the world, serving over 12 million customers daily in more than 130 countries. The Colonel passed away in 1980 at the age of 90, but his legacy lives on through the delicious chicken that bears his name and the many lives he has touched through his business. So next time you take a bite of that crispy, golden brown KFC chicken, remember the story of the man who made it all possible, Colonel Harlan Sanders. More importantly, you must take his legacy of never giving up, and build your own success story copying his ideas, and a can-do attitude. These days you have all the tools and resources which previously people didn't have the luxury to use, so take advantage of today's social media power and write your own success story. You can surely do it.